Why was this young man nervous while I interviewed him on a remote tropical island of Papua New Guinea in 2004? Was he just nervous because an American was interviewing him? Or was it remembering the roping? About 10 years earlier, in the 1990s, he was one of seven boys who hiked up to the crater lake they call Pung. Perhaps they ran along the shore, yelling, having fun. That's when a huge roping flew over the surface of the lake. What happened then? How big was that flying creature? We'll get to that. Brian Hennessy was on the island of Bougainville, New Guinea in 1971 in a truck going down a mountain road when he saw what he later told me was a very unusual creature. I now quote Mr. Hennessy. It was very big, it certainly looked prehistoric, with a longish, narrow tail, no feathers in sight, unquote. For any skeptic who might suggest he is crazy, please consider this. Mr. Hennessy is a professional psychologist. Now let's go back to 1944. During World War II, after the Japanese had left the area around Finchhaven, New Guinea. Dwayne Hodgkinson and his army buddy were in a jungle clearing in the middle of the day when something huge ran across the far side of the clearing, flapping its wings to get airborne. Hodgkinson at first assumed it was a bird, but then he saw that the flying creature was much too big and it had a horn-like head crest. In a videotaped interview in 2005, Hodgkinson gave Garth Gessman an estimate for the length of the tail. Quote, at least 10 or 15 feet long, unquote. Did Hennessy in 1971 see the same kind of flying creature seen by Hodgkinson in 1944? These two silhouettes are composites chosen by these two men from among many images shown to them. The one on top was chosen by Hennessy, the one on the bottom by Hodgkinson. Both men reported a long tail on the flying creatures. Neither of the men had heard about the roping before they had their sightings. Let's now return to my expedition on Umboy Island in the year 2004. I interviewed three young men who had seen a rope and fly over Lake Pung. Mesa was one of them. Wesley confirmed the sighting and his brother Gideon answered many questions, including his estimate of the length of the tail. Did it have a tail? Yeah. It had a tail, okay. How long was the tail? Um, seven meters? Yeah. Seven meters is 23 feet. Even if he was greatly mistaken or exaggerated, that flying creature was no bat. Could it have been a bird? If there were no feathers, it was no bird. This is just a brief introduction to the roping of Papua New Guinea. Watch other videos on this channel, Protect Animal Life. Discover for yourself that the Ropen has flown far beyond Papua New Guinea.